Hi, it's Elder. Welcome to another tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to build a hero navigation with sliding images. And I have done so in my shopping template. If we go to blogstemplates.com and check out the latest shopping template. You can see that it has this sliding navigation, well, sliding hero image. It changes automatically every three seconds, I think. And on top of that, I have the regular menu and it is just the regular block, but it is visible over the sliding images and it is fully responsive. As you can see, when I switch to smaller screens, first of all, it gets more compact and then it actually becomes a different type of navigation for mobile and small tablets. So let me show you how I have done that. Let's open blocks and I will go to shopping template. As you can see, well, let's go to home page. You can see that I have two blocks on top. One is in the global area above the blue line and one is in the dynamic area below the blue line. But we can't see any block above the blue line. And the reason why, because I have selected that block on top, which is the navigation block and I have added the class shopping header and inside this class I adjusted the bottom margin to negative value. I set it to be 150 but I think something like 100 would, will also do the job and basically what it does it makes the block under the navigation go up. So if I type 50 you can see that now it's not enough. 50 pixels is not enough because my navigation, well, let's just delete this. You can see that it is about, well, about, about 100. So this is why if I type minus 100, it will bring up the second block, which is the carousel in this, in this uh, project. It will bring it up and yeah, create this effect when we have the navigation over the images. And that's not all because if we just do that, it will not show the links because they will be behind the image carousel. And to make this work, we also need to go to code editor and type just one line of code. And this will make sure that these links are visible over the image carousel. So let's delete this class from here. As you can see now it's back to normal. Let's add it back. It's back to what we have. So let's go to preview once again and see how it looks. Then let's go to code editor and delete the code we have here. I will copy that, delete it. And now when we go to preview you can see that we can't see any links because the Z index value for the image carousel is by default higher than for the navigation. So if we go back and add this code, which is just the name of the class, which I gave to this block shopping header and just the Z index value, some high number. And when we do that, you can see that it is working again. So it's fine. You can see how I've done that, but let's quickly create the similar, well, similar project from scratch. So let's go to the new and I will not save that. I will create the new, new, like a very simple project. Let's add a couple of blocks. So there's some content like that. And on top we will have the navigation. We can use any navigation we want. I will just use this one, the regular navigation. So I want to have the sliding navigation, right? A sliding image, a sliding carousel. To do that, I will just add the carousel first, carousel brick. And let's add a couple of default images we have in blocks. This one will work. This one, and let's say the, well, maybe with this one. Okay, we have three images. I want them to slide every three seconds. Just type 3000 milliseconds. And well, if I want to have some text, I can place it here. For this video, I will just leave it empty. 
but yeah so we have the three slides let's select the block this this core cell and make it first of all edge to edge with delete all of the padding set it to none and you can see we still have these white borders on each side and this is because we have gutters enabled by default for all rows so we select the row and disable the gutter so now we have the image which is well we can go to preview mode to check you can see it is uh, it should auto rotate if we don't have any mouse over it well something like that you can see it works pretty fine we have other content here so we want to make this uh, navigation go down to do that we can just select this navigation add the class anything we want let's just name it header company uh, company because it is basically the company project you can name it whatever you want and now inside this class let's just select the bottom edge for the margin and type minus 100 that's it you can see that now we have this navigation go down so next thing we need to do here is of course to add the simple code to adjust the z value to do that let's go to the code editor and i'm not coder you know that so style the name of the class so that what is what was header company right header company and then we have z index and value something some big number doesn't really matter so and style like that so very simple code nothing fancy now when i go to preview you can see that we have these links visible and of course i can further select this and add the the color i want add the well maybe try to add some other bold font for the menu as well we might want to switch it to white for example and well maybe it is a bit better looking yeah i mean you can experiment to get what you like but the point is this is how you can add the transparent navigation over the carousel of course don't forget to optimize it for mobile because sometimes when we go to mobile let's go to preview mode you can see that it's not what you want right you, you can't see the navigation the, the drop down menu because the class we added the header company applies this margin for all breakpoints by default so if we don't want to use this separate navigation for mobile breakpoints we can change that here so when we go can see that now it's visible well we have selected uh, the links to be white so this is why it's not really visible if we add the class we can change the color for links for different breakpoints so we can for now have it like this but well it's another video i will i will show you how to customize the mobile menu for websites built in blocks and actually, if you just go to my past videos, I have probably done a number of videos on this topic. And this was actually the question from one of my students, one of my friends actually, who is using blocks. And yeah, I have decided to time to time come back to recording these simple tutorials, which are not as well organized as my blocks master tutorials where I have everything by topic and by category. If you want that, you can go to blocksmaster.com and sign up for my tutorials. But I have decided to do this quick and unprepared tutorials time to time to answer the questions I get uh, by email or even on my YouTube channel here. If you have any questions or need help with anything, as always, you can leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.